Hello, and welcome back. I'm Ed Cole Caesar, and I think this will be the final episode. We shall see. It says we have eight days left. So let's get to it. Alright. We'll choose the devious looking guy over here. You and some other elders are conversing when Virak walks up, proudly holding a toaster. Funny, you have a toaster just like that. Wait a minute. That dent. It's your toaster. Hey! Virak crows. Look what I found at, at the bus stop. We can take whatever we want from the humans. Hmm. Clean monsters and humans both value truth. Virak tries to flee, but the other monsters stop him. You take back your toaster and step on his head for good measure. He says you're lying, but they trust you more than they trust him. Prick. <laughs> Alright, let's... I, I want it at least to be on some evil... Me evil... Even measure. Not an evil measure. <laughs> you sneak up to an open window. A human sits on an overstuffed chair. Her back is to a desk covered in... Wait a minute. It's maps with red X's on them. Look closer. They're showing off locations of the monster towns alongside a badly drawn sketch of a monster with a knife stuck through it. What to do? Hmm. I will confront her. You know she could kill me. You remember that humans really like gifts. You gather an offering of stinkweed and corn husks and return to knock on the front door of the house. This'll be nice. She answers and yelps with surprise at the sight of you. Oh, give her the bo <laughs> the bouquet. Bouquet. Yeah. She sh you shove it at her face. Oops, too much. Still, she seems to find the situation more curious than frightening. F for me? Not at her. She looks bewildered, but touch. She utters a quick thanks, hesitating before retreating to her home. Okay. Let's go see how our stats are doing. We have six days left. This is how well my... Blah, blah, blah. Some monsters like humans. Okay, that's decent. Humans are ambivalent about monsters. Eh, better than nothing. Let's go do more human stuff. I shall do this wall bit. You watch as an elderly human tries to fix his house. He looks up at the leaky roof with a sigh and asks, as it starts to rain, yeah, and with a sigh. Wow, he looks up at the leaky roof with a sigh as it starts to rain and goes inside. How bad is the leak? Looks like a trickle of water will get into the attic from the storm. Wow, I like pause so much in that thing. <laughs> looks like a leak. <laughs> it might do some damage to the human's house. He also left his tools out. Oh man, that's terrible. <laughs> Let's go repair the roof. Success! The human hears hammering above. He emerges just as you leap away. The repairs finished. We'll do this one more time. Or at least one more time. Let's go do the, the claw thing. You decide to check out the Carmen Carnival. Mupsy recently mentioned. Wow. <laughs> the Carmen Carnival Mupsy recently mentioned. Following her map, you take lefts and rights and straight ons until you look up and... Uh-oh. Humans everywhere. What's that noise and smell? And that over there. Or that. Looks like an organ grinder. Monkey poop and mobs of human children. And a tiger. Wait. A tiger? The tiger is running through the crowd. Right through the middle. Actually, that's because the crowd is scattering away from the tiger. Aren't humans afraid of tigers? Come to think of it, humans are scared of tigers. And usually keep them in cages, don't they? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'll fight the tiger. The tiger crouches, ready to spring on a pair of cowering humans, but you leap behind it and step on its tail. Now that you have its attention, take it on. 
You and the tiger circle each other. You push a human girl out of the tiger's reach as you move, not really thinking about it. Attack. You and the tiger tumble up and down the street, breaking windows and knocking over food carts. You're covered with claw marks, but the outcome was never really in doubt. It's dead. The humans cheer as you walk away from a very dead tiger. Being surrounded by humans is not your idea of fun. So you leave after a quick wave. Cool, I'm like, I'm just your neighbor. I'm just a friendly neighborhood monster. Let's go politics some more. Uh, let's do this. That sharpie thing. The spine doctor looks up from her current patient. She's working on, with, she's working a human knife free of a younger monster's ribs. Humans are dangerous. Watch and listen. She says humans, no claws, so they made their own. Awful thing, knife wound. Takes twice as much milkweed to patch up as a jaguar attack. Best steer clear, I say. Okay, I'd like to point out that they live in such a weird world, or at least they live in such a crazy area where jaguars are just around. <laughs> hmm. Let me explain how they're not all about fighting. Success. That scary knife, you explain, is used to spread jam on bread. Real knives are much worse. The spine doctor nods, a little shocked. Oh, man. <laughs> Three days left. I'm gonna do one more of these. And we'll do this guy. And I guess we'll just do a back-to-back. <laughs> Greed Blitz puffed up with multi eh, with multisyllabic syllabic <laughs> with multisyllabic importance addresses the other elders, my fellow monsterian. He begins, I propose we meet the humans halfway. What? In the meadow near the forest? No, he clears his throat. <laughs> I think we should learn from them and adopt human ways to become more civilized. Ooh. Hmm. My curiosity is best, so I'm gonna go with this. You throw a rock at Greed Bush. He shrieks and charges. You slap him aside, then get several of his arms in a complicated lock. Explain that you learned this trick by watching humans practice. Everyone goes crazy at this. They love the idea of being like humans, at least this much. Soon you are in you inundated with requests to teach a class in a blocking and locking. First you block, and then you lock. Okay. <laughs> that was so lame. Alright, uh, let's go do this pot. Pot. Jaggery drinks from a jar of cider. He belches and the air goes wavy. Watch the ferocious elder as he drinks some more. Jaggery raises one claw. Humans, humans are stupid, lazy, worthless, stupid, and I'll fight any monster who says otherwise. Disagree, humans can be altruistic and generous. Drawing on your own experience with giving and helping other monsters, you select several excellent examples of human kindness. It's really just a question of knowing your subject. Jaguar himself is too tipsy to consider it, but everyone else is quite impressed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what I've noticed? Some are more worth more points than others. Monsters love humans. Cool. What about these guys? Humans love monsters. Let's try to even it out some. So I'm gonna go pick this one away. Alleys are great places to find artifacts, less so to find fat, small, crying human children. So it's said, what of it? One such fat, small child wanders over to you, clutching a lollipop. Hmm, ask what's wrong. The human child says, I'm lost. Do you know how to get to Plow Street? I think I stepped in poop. Yeah, I'll help him out. The child hiccups as you take its hand in its, your claw, keeping to the alleys and shadows, always wary of adults, you wander until the child recognizes his home. Au revoir. 
The child runs to his home. He's scooped up by a bigger human in a flowering uh, in a flowered hat. The bigger human croons to the little one. The last thing you hear as you sneak away is the child. Yes? A monster helped me get home, Mama. It was really nice. Sweet. Oh, yeah, we're 100%. Ah, oh, man. Here comes the moment of truth, everyone. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'll pick politics. Ooh, I like these. <laughs> As you walk through Borden Square, you think on your past. Life hasn't always been easy, but you've built up your reputation. You are quite well respected. Well respected indeed. Though monsters have always feared and loathed humans in the past, your work towards improving relations have paid off. Monsters have come to respect and like them. Well done. Grand. Meanwhile, humans who once hated all monster kind have come to understand that monsters aren't terrible, evil things. Rumor has it that humans think pretty well of you. Okay. Shattering your reverie, a terrible commotion erupts. Elders and younger monsters alike are milling around, or milling about in a great mob. What is it? Blots drops away from a nearby roof. Humans, humans are coming this way. What? Blistry says, that's wonderful, we can talk to them. It's true, relations have been warming up. Both monsters and humans meet deep in the whale nest. There is considerable shuffling, shuffling of feet and paws. Everyone wants to talk, but nobody wants to make the first move. If only some monsters were to speak up. Yes, if only. A few of the other elders are looking at you, strangely enough. Oh my god, and just ruin everything. <laughs> Slash one of the art to show them who's boss. This is how the game's supposed to end, guys. Click. No, I'm gonna welcome the humans as friends. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief as you put your best claw forward. It's the first step to a long journey. A journey on which monsters and humans will cooperate in all things. What happened next? Universal Prosperity. You dare to find the narrow gap. <laughs> you dare to find the narrow gap between fear and hate. Now humans and monsters work together for the benefit of all. I think this is the end of the game, guys. But I'm not precisely sure because <laughs> I just got this. So I'm gonna hit. Yep, and we shall see. And so monsters and humans worked, lived, and played together for many happy generations to come. Hooray for the future the end. Oh, man. Alright. So our bravery and kindness and curiosity ended up being really useful. Even if we did use our ferociousness for kind reasons, and, or for kind reasons, and the fact that our honesty was so up there really helped out a lot. I really like this game. It's a really fun game and it always has a really nice story to it. Even if it might start off silly, the end is always this... It feels like things matter in this game. And I really like that about it. So, I guess with that... We get taken over to the menu screen. And I say... Thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. So long.